scurvy skeletons Speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise When you hear these zombies shriek Hey there and ho there and it's me Elle welcome to my crazy world and if you think I'm joking no I'm not I am covered from the top of my head to my chin in toilet paper because apparently that's what you do when you have this Corvina Corp Corona that one you know that one um, yes um, if you've got the virus, apparently this is what you do with all the toilet paper that people are buying all over the place. Uh, so much so that um, we've run out of toilet paper here in Australia. Um, not the company. The company is still um, supplying. And very much so, they are not in any trouble at all supplying us with toilet paper. But um, apparently... Uh, if you've got the coronavirus, this is what you're doing with your toilet paper at home, apparently. Because um, otherwise I don't see the point of buying 20 packets of toilet paper at the same time. Excuse me. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry about that. Whew. Anyway, yes, yes, in Australia we have gone insane. Apparently we are the only people that have got the coronavirus mixed up with dysentery because um, why else would you be buying so many packets of toilet paper and tissues and tissues by the gallons and apparently food is also up there as well rice is apparently uh, going out of stock so is pasta in various varieties and um, various other sort of canned foods and stuff like that. So I just thought I'd let you know that, um, yeah, we're going insane. Yes, we're going insane. So much so on the news, there has been um, a few cases that uh, police have been called to places like Woolworths and, and I don't know about coal so much, but Woolworths definitely in uh, Sydney has been called or the police have been called to sort out some women who were having a fight over toilet paper because apparently you need to fill up your garage and sheds and if you think I'm joking watch the news because I, I had a belly laugh and thought all right I can understand buying food and various sort of foods and drinks and anything that won't go out of um, uh, date anytime soon. Um, but toilet paper. Really, really. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a bit of an update on that. And in I am in no way or means making fun of people who unfortunately have passed away from having this virus so I do you know um, I do say sorry to the families that have had that happen to them but my my whole point is the insanity that has become Australia with the toilet paper thing it, it's it's ridiculous I've actually been watching a few documentaries to enlighten myself on why we perhaps need to be so vigilant about toilet paper um, but yes in a couple of the um, documentaries that I've watched and I um, can put details down 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 in the information part and let you know which ones they are they've actually had um, people documenting on uh, unfortunately the deaths in China and how prevalent it is and um, of course it started there so it's going to be a lot more um, yeah, abundant there unfortunately um, 
I'm not going to go into the why it happened or where it happened or all the rest of it, but um, these documentaries were very insightful. Also, they were showing um, their shops, as in their versions of supermarkets, I would assume. Uh, they are fully stocked with food in abundance. Um, I haven't seen anyone actually have a domestic argument over toilet paper there. Uh, and people are, are going shopping without any problem of finding um, food sources and stuff like that. Uh, now, if you think that you might have this virus, please stay indoors. Or if you've got any of the symptoms that are, um, you know, similar to the symptoms of this virus, stay indoors. Don't go out. And for crying out loud, don't go out near people. If you have a sniffle or a, um, in the news today, they have um, various places that are opening up to become wholly and solely dedicated to um, testing you for the virus. So it's, it, you know, it's not being taken lightly. My lightheartedness at the start is because I just, once again, I am so dumbfounded at the stupidity of people um, filling up, you know, trolleys full of toilet paper it's, it's ridiculous. People think, you know, um, there's other not so fortunate people that can't afford to buy 20 million packets to shove in your shed for possibilities. Um, there's your pensioners, your disabled or disability people. There's people that are unemployed and for whatever reason, they are not able to, you know, stock up, but they still do need to go to the toilet and wipe themselves wherever it may be that they need to wipe themselves but they need to wipe themselves and unfortunately because of idiots that are out there buying multitudes um your poor joe blow can't buy a packet to save themselves even uh, to the point of tissues being out of um out of stock i managed to go to um Woolies, or I call them Safeway, but Woolies, um, creature of habit and all that stuff. Yeah, I went to Woolies and um, I went up to the chap that was stocking shelves in another department, obviously not with the toilet paper, and said, look, I know it's a stupid question, but do you have any toilet paper? And he said, "You believe, believe it or not, is not a stupid question at all. Uh, no, we don't. And apparently they'd received a, a shipment at six o'clock in the morning and by seven it was all gone so you know instead of continuous continuously uh buying toilet paper why don't you yeah have your 20 packets or 200 million packets or whatever and leave some for the other people that are not able to buy that many um but as I was saying, with this documentary, it was amazing to see the actual place where it started and began. And, oh my gosh, they've got plenty of food. They've got plenty of stock of toilet paper. They've got plenty of everything. And what they do is, if they happen to have to be quarantined in their household, um, they have relatives that go and buy the stuff for them and leave it at the, the door and you know when when they've gone um the people that are in quarantine open up get their stuff and bring it inside it's not a hard thing to think of if if the source of the problem can sort them out or sort themselves out easily why is it that we in this state or well not state in this part of the lands um can't get it right and you know, it's ridiculous. And to see grown women fighting over toilet paper, it's ridiculous. And they're, they're pulling hair and, and all the rest of it. And mind you, the woman that wanted, all she wanted was one packet. And the other woman that she was arguing with was there. And I swear she had the whole trolley full and then on top. 
what are you going to do? Really? And if you're buying up for your, your fellow relatives or friends or something like that, you just turn around and say, look, this is for blah, blah. And um, I know that uh, Safeway now has got a, oh, sorry, Woolies has got a minimum of two packets per person. Um, Aldi's got the same deal. You're only allowed to get two packets. And that way, at least, you know, George down the street or Mary can get themselves the toilet paper that they need. And in all this chaos, what made me laugh also is everyone's thinking of themselves, but um, what about the pets? Don't they need um, pet food and stuff like that? Uh, or is that not necessary because there are only the pets? There's no, you know, um, pet food shortages or anything like that. So people have got their heads screwed on just a little bit off kilter and the screw is, um, what's the word? Screwed. <laughs> it's so stupid. But yeah, like I said, I'm not making light of any of the people that have passed away from it. In fact, in one of the um, documentaries that I've, I've been watching, uh, it said about the actual doctor that tried to warn everyone what was going on and was told to shut up quietly, not well, not quietly, just told to shut up, actually passed away from it. So he was one of the ones that um, was a whistleblower, as they, they termed it. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, he passed away. So yeah, in no way, shape or form am I having a ha-ha laugh or poking fun at anyone that's um, got the virus or dealing with it or has had family dealing with it. This is solely and wholly just how much of a pile of imbeciles we've got who, you know, to start off with, it was the news um, that started saying that we had to, you know, deal with it and see what's going to happen and blah, blah, blah. So if people are sheep. They see, you know, someone sees someone buying 20 packets. So then they think, well, oh, shit, maybe I should buy 20 packets as well. And so on and so on and so on and so on and so forth. And, yeah, but, um, oh, and by the way, this toilet paper that is in, in a roll is still connected. So I will be rolling it back up because um, I've only got a few rolls myself. Um, and, oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, I saw this lady as I was in line to pay for my stuff. She had two packets of tissues. And I said, um, where did you find them? She said, oh, right next to the toilet paper. And I said, oh, okay, fair enough. Um, so I just said, I'll be back in a second, snuck off, and I got the last packet of tissues, which I think I paid some sort of stupid amount for anyway, because they're only a 50 packet, and at least my bum will smell nice, because it's eucalyptus, um, it's not flavouring, <laughs> oops, um, eucalyptus infused or some rubbish, so, so at least my bum will smell nice, but, um, yeah. I just thought I'd let you know my silly thoughts on, on the whole shebang. So, yeah, enjoy your day. And please, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Treat others as you would like to be treated. So don't elbow Joe Bloggs in the um, ribs because you want to get that last roll of toilet paper or pasta or whatever it is. Um... And uh, stay safe on the roads. And for now, I'm going to say bye. See you later. <laughs>